Hey y'all, welcome back to Alicia's Aprons, or Chocolate is My Vice. I haven't figured out which name I want to go with yet, I just know it's a little bit weird saying Alicia's Aprons when I am doing a makeup tutorial, it just feels weird. So, today, in this episode, we getting drunk. <laughs> I'm serious. So we're going to be making boozy popsicles. Yeah! Yeah! These are going to be great because they are in plastic little baggies. You can make them yourself. Bring these to the pool. They're not glass. No one's going to yell at you. No one will know that they're filled with alcohol unless you say something. Today, we're going to be making two flavors. The first one that we're going to be making is white wine margarita popsicles. So I've got my Prosecco. I keep wanting to call it prosciutto. No, Prosecco. I'm going to be using an orange liqueur. You can just use regular vodka if you want to be basic, but I'm fancy, so. For the last alcohol for the other popsicle, we're going to be making rosé wine popsicles. Rosé all day! You know what I'm saying? Let me talk about where you're going to find your own little popsicle Ziploc baggies. These bad boys right here. You just find them on Amazon. This is Frozip. It's got 125 of these in here, so we drink it all summer, you know what I'm saying? It also comes with this funnel, this collapsible little funnel. So I will link these down below where you can find these on Amazon. Okay, you guys, we're going to be making the white wine margarita popsicles. This one is really easy. You're just going to need one of these little limeade margarita mixes right here. <laughs> Pour your margarita mix in there. You want to use the whole can, okay, y'all? So for the recipe I found, which I have modified, <laughs> It was all in ounces, and if you're a bartender, I'm sure you understand what that means, but I have never been a bartender. So I asked Google, and I translated it into milliliters. So it's not exact, but it's pretty much the same, and this is what I use. So we're going to be using milliliters to measure y'all. I'm sorry. So we need 175 milliliters for sec Prosecco. I'm going to put 200. <laughs> yeah! Okay, <laughs> now... I'm gonna be using orange liqueur. So my grandmother makes margaritas from scratch and they are freaking amazing. And she actually gave me this bottle so that I can make my own margaritas. She uses a touch of orange liqueur. It is divine. Yeah, you guys can use vodka if you want to. I just like my orange liqueur, liqueur, liqueur. So that's what I'm gonna be using. You want about 75 milliliters of that. Or more, I mean, do you, big lady. Okay, now I'm gonna be using one and a half cups of ice. Here's one. And now we're gonna turn this on and blend. Now check the liquid cons man. That smells like a whole lot of yes. Oh! Oh my God, yes! Now when you got the ice mixed up with these guys, you got the alcohol nice and mixed up. We're gonna be adding the pineapple chunks, and we just need a cup and a half of these frozen pineapple chunks. Boom, here it is. Hot damn! Got my little funnel right here. You're just gonna fit the little popsicle baggie around the funnel, and it's not gonna fit perfectly, so you grip the bottom of it right here, otherwise it's just gonna go break right. And I personally am super clumsy, so I like to do this over my sink. However, my sink looks nasty, so we're just gonna pretend like I'm not clumsy. It's in prayers. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay. Holy it's like a, it tastes like a pina colada, but it's more of a margarita. It's, it's like a mix of the two. It's really good. I mean, you don't even need to put these in popsicles. Just pour yourself up. Take this whole damn thing, bring a straw, and go to the pool for a little shoot. Okay, guys, so this recipe right here makes about 10 popsicles, so I'm going to put these in the freezer. And let them freeze for at least two hours and move on to our other rosé recipe. I've got my rosé right here. So for this one, you're going to need six ounces of rosé or about 175 milliliters. We're also going to be adding Prosecco, four ounces or about 115 milliliters. And then one and a half ounces of our orange liqueur or vodka, whatever you prefer. It's basically about a shot. That was way more than a shot. <laughs> I was never a bartender. <laughs> now I'm gonna go get my frozen tropical fruit. So when I say frozen tropical fruit, I just mean something like, like this one right here has peaches, strawberries, cantaloupe, pineapple, and grapes. So to me, that's kind of, it's a little tropical. Gonna give us a nice pink color for our rosé. One and a half cups of our frozen fruit. It's got kind of a lot of strawberries in it. 
And now one and a half cups of ice. Okay, this right here is totally optional, but I wanted to add, since my frozen fruit didn't have a lot of red fruit in there, like strawberries, grapes, and a lot of peaches and mangoes, I want to cheat a little. I'm gonna add a little bit of strawberry daiquiri mix just to make sure that I'm getting a nice pretty pink color. Then we're gonna put on the lid. So curly. So cur so curly and start. Drill, y'all. Get your funnel. Get your little baggie. Okay, so this recipe right here made me nine pops. When you're done filling your popsicles in their own little sleeves, put these in the freezer for about two hours overnight, however long you need. Okay, you guys, whenever your popsicles are done, of course, you can just dig right in and enjoy them. Oh my god. I want to get naked and go on the beach right now. Honey, with these popsicles, I might not be able to. Oh, anyway, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoy your own little popsicle pops. If you make these for yourself, tag me in your pictures I want to see. Please comment below. Let me know what you think of your own little slushy popsicles. Your boozy, boozy popsicles. <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> You guys have a drunk summer. Bye! Thanks for watching! Welcome back to Alicia's Apron. My bra's hanging out. Lord, it's an Italian meat. You know what I'm talking about? That's not what this is. This is the alcohol version of the P word. Penis. Ah! Vodka if you want. Finn, silence yourself. I am recording things. since I was a kid. Oops, I broke it. Ah! Good lord. Who invented this? Ah! You know what? They have can openers. Yes! That didn't work. Give me a knife. Who invented this? This is the worst thing ever. Oh shit. Okay, it is open. Oh god, there's a lid. Clean up any spillage that you probably have done. Have we drank anything yet? I'm pissed off. It's lit. What was I trying to say? I don't know. Rock the crick in my neck back with that move. This is like sex. <laughs> Did you see that? Wipe it down so you look like a professional YouTuber. Yes, Lord. Man, that is so good. You're welcome. I'm so funny. I see you rolling your eyes to the back of my everything. Don't make me laugh, I'm doing things. Get your little baggie of drugs. No. Actually, alcohol is a drug. Next, we're gonna be making wheat brownies. I'm just kidding, I don't know how to make them. What? <laughs> <laughs> and it's cold as hell. <coughs> <coughs> I'm alive. <laughs> These are so good. Anyway. It's cold. And I have like the most sensitive teeth, but it's okay. If you get drunk enough, then everything gets numb and you can't feel it. It's science. Give it a, wait, what? Give it a, wait, what? Why am I so awkward when I ask people to do nice things for me? Bitch, I might be. Ah. Uh...